ship, but Egypt was the Greek word meaning bondage. So we gotta realize that the Bible was translated from its original language in today's time. This is why they have Bible dictionaries, strong coordinates, in order to give people understanding of the words in the book, because the word virgin would think that's somebody that ain't never slept with someone. Right. It just means a young woman of marriageable age, according to the Bible. Wow, you know what I'm saying? But in today's mean, English would give you that misunderstanding. That's why people have that misconception about the virgin birth. That Christ was born from a virgin Mary, but Christ was actually born by, by his father Joseph. In the scriptures That's tell you. right. Oh, so, uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So like he said, out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage. So Egypt is the word, it's an honest word for bondage. And like I said, it's a Greek word, meaning bondage. Continue on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning we shall see our own land no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondsmen and bondswoman. Slave men and slave women. And no man shall buy you. I mean, it's an old quirky term, meaning when it says no man shall buy you, we know the scripture says that they should sell you. That just means no man can redeem you. Malcolm X tried, Martin Luther King tried. We didn't have multiple leaders trying to redeem our people out of this situation, but yet it had failed. And the only reason why I have not succeeded is because we got to come back to the most high. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The most high is going to bring us up out of this captivity. Come. But like you said, we got to turn back on him. Matter of fact, give me Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Saturday, if y'all get the time, man, where we, you know, we give and teach and give and understanding of this man, and plus we're trying to unite the people, you know what I'm saying, and gather us together, because it's about that time. Yeah, you know that's the It's about that time, for yeah. real. I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. It's about to go down. I praise <laughs> guys like you guys, because y'all very knowledgeable. All praise and to your heart. Yeah. That Boy, is so good. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all don't have many rebuttals when we're talking back. Y'all just let us know what you know, we know. We try to figure it out. I don't hear that, but at least you guys are not here. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Therefore, say unto the house of Yahshua, Israel, thus said Yahweh, God, repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. Time. That's what right. told us to turn away from that, meaning we must repent for our sins. Go give me Acts chapter 3, Amen. verse 19, I think. Yeah. Right, if it's not 19, it's 26. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So we got to come back because the law is still here, but Christ, because of Christ, we got an opportunity to repent for our sins because back then it right. was through, through animal sacrifice. There you go. But when you Christ came on the scene, people want to say that he done away with the whole law. Now nah, he done away with the sacrificial law and the judgment law because now we can't go stone a homosexual out here I like we used to in the past. Is so, you know what I'm saying? So these are say? things that he done mine. away with, not but yours. not the law. He's still supposed to keep right, the law. Right, 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 right. That's my prime example. Acts chapter 5. No, three. I mean, it's a lot. Acts chapter 3, verse, verse 18. But those things which God he for had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he, he, has, so, he has so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore, and have and have covered and have and converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the time of refreshing shall come for the presence of the Lord. So like you said, repent ye therefore so you can be converted. So you know what I'm saying? So we know that the laws is how you can be converted. Uh, I want to give you Psalms 19 verse 7. Real quick, I have a question. So is that like baptism too? Um, well, we know now. Um, give me um, Acts, Acts chapter 2 verse 41. 41. Uh -huh. This is what we're going to show on baptism. Which... It's a, which is still okay because it was a symbolized thing. Like when John the Baptist baptized somebody in the water, he told them when he brought them up, he told them to repent from their sins. So, but we know according to now, when Christ came onto the scene, Christ became the Word. 
So we are baptized by the word right. because That's we know that we can dip a homosexual thought. in the water today and he gonna come up a homosexual. Right. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? Acts so 2. You know through the word is how you get changed. Right. Acts That's 2 verse 41. I don't know if I read wrong. Then they they gladly received his word, were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls. Um, like he says, um, the when word. he baptized them, um, read that again. Not then they that gladly received his word were baptized. Right there, like he said, receive the word and you was baptized. Why? Because we're going to give me a matter of fact, he's going to show me because we're going to show you what the word is according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Ephesians yeah, 5 26. Break it down. Isaiah right. chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. He said, To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, speak not according to what? This word. This what? This word. So, the Amen. law and testimony is the word of the Most High. It so is, it is because there is no light in them. So if your pastor ain't teaching according to the laws and testimony, it's because there's no light in him. Mm. So right there, the scriptures give you right. The, the scripture describes itself. You know what I'm saying? And it gives you understanding. There you go. Yeah, uh, Ephesians 5:26. All right, Psalm 19:7. Oh. Yeah, bring it out. When I was done um, talking about converting your soul earlier, here go the scripture. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. So he says the law is perfect for converting your soul. Meaning that we come back into the laws and repent for our sins, you know what I'm saying, and try to our best ability to keep these laws. A lot of people make it seem like it's difficult, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't that difficult to do that. Anyway, um, I give me um they um, always hey, without yeah, cops, what would happen? Esau, right there, Satan. The devil, the Bible speaks of, came in here talking crazy. There go my Akims coming up. My ox, my ox is touching down. Let's get this thing cracked. Mark chapter 4. 